watchful and faithful channel uh, here comes to our meditation of God's word I will uh, direct you to Romans chapter 8 verse 1 it says here that uh, therefore there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus uh, the apostle Paul conclude of this uh, passage therefore now the word therefore it means to say that conclusive so what is the conclusion therefore there is there is now no condemnation so no condemnation no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus so those who are in Christ Jesus it's meant it means that uh, any person who belongs to Jesus any person who have a relationship to Jesus Christ any person who has uh, served the Lord Jesus Christ faithfully there is now no condemnation there is now no condemnation now what the word condemnation it means to say that eternal punishment condemnation it means to say that uh, uh, eternal separation from the Lord uh, condemnation it means to say that eternal agony eternal uh, uh, punishment eternal pain or eternal uh, judgment so that is condemnation so therefore the apostle paul says that there is no now no condemnation for those who are in christ jesus so it means to say if we belong to jesus then we are no more condemned for we are already saved so we have salvation so that is the word of apostle paul now in this uh, another thing in chapter uh, verse 2 it means to say that uh, <coughs> we will uh, we will have this uh, verse 2 for the law of the spirit of life in christ jesus has set you free from the law of sin and death so what is that law of the spirit of life the law of the spirit of life states that if we are in the lord jesus christ if we have relationship with the lord jesus christ the law of the spirit of life is applied to us so the law of the spirit of life it means that upon receiving the lord jesus christ upon believing the lord jesus christ as personal lord and savior there is life there is a spirit of life our spirit has life our uh, the, the, the holy spirit imparted life or uh, imparted eternal life to us so upon receiving lord jesus upon believing the lord jesus christ as personal lord and savior upon repentance as we repent our sins and uh, serve the lord jesus christ so the law of the spirit of life is applied to us so it means to say we have the life of the holy spirit or we have the eternal life that is from the holy spirit because it says it's the law of the spirit of life. I meant to say the law of the spirit of life. So that is, this is applied for those who are in Christ Jesus. So the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and death. Now, we are set free. For those who have relationship with Jesus Christ, you are set free. We are set free from the law of sin and death. What is that law of sin and death? Now, in Romans 3.23, it says there, that for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That the moment that Adam committed sin is that uh, all committed sin. Uh, all humanity is under the slavery of sin and death. So it means to say, if uh, Jesus Christ did not came to this world, uh, no one will be saved or we are not not saved we cannot be saved if jesus christ did not came to this world so upon believing the lord jesus christ upon serving the lord jesus christ we are set free from the law of sin and death now in uh, romans 16 it says there that uh, for, um, for the wages of sin is death so for the wages of sin is death but the gift of god is eternal life in christ jesus now remember the the wages of sin is death meant to say for those who are under 
the curse of sin for those who are under the slavery of sin so there is death but praise God that Jesus Christ came to, to this world so that we will have eternal life we are set free so remember those who are in Christ Jesus those who are in Christ Jesus being set free from the law of sin and death now uh, what is that uh, another thing that Apostle Paul said in uh, verse 3 it says sir that uh, <clears throat> for what the law okay for what the law could not do weak as it was through the flesh God did sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and as an offering for sin he condemned sin in the flesh now it says there for what the law could not do okay for what the law could not do what is that law that is the law uh, being given by God to Moses so for what the law could not do so there is now uh, things that the law could not do so what is the the things that the law could not do so salvation so the law could not save us the law could not provide us salvation the law could not provide us uh, forgiveness of sin the law could not provide us um, cleansing of our sin so it means to say for what the law could not do weak as it was through the flesh so weak as it was through the flesh so meaning to say uh, there is now a loophole uh, of the law because of flesh because of our flesh because of our own uh, human human effort because of our human understanding because of our human uh, human uh, what we call this endeavor okay so that is flesh now because of that god did sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh so god the father sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh so in the likeness of man in the likeness of the the flesh in the likeness of the person yeah jesus christ came on this earth as an offering for sin so he was crucified he was crucified on the cross he is condemned as being sinner although jesus christ has no sin jesus christ had not committed sin but he was condemned sin in the flesh so that we will have salvation so that is the uh the work of god the father or the work of god that's uh, sending his uh, own son his only begotten son to save us okay to save us now uh why is it that uh, god sending his own son because we cannot save ourselves no, we cannot save ourselves so because we cannot save for ourselves that's why jesus christ is being sent jesus christ is sent to this world so that whoever believes on him should not perish but have everlasting life so that's why uh, god the father has his own way of uh, giving us salvation so god the father has his own way of giving us uh, salvation that's why it says there jesus is the way the truth and the life no one comes to the father except through jesus christ so that is the um, the way of the father so that is the method of the father saving us no? giving us salvation so that is sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh mm -hmm.